Never would have made it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ty Dixon, and it's time for your moment of inspiration. Today we're going to talk about how to stay strong. Oh, I hear somebody say, stay strong. I'm not strong, I'm weak. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about how to stay strong. And you're going to understand that you have an inner strength on the inside of you that you never, ever thought existed. We're going to go through some practical principles, how to stay strong. I'm going to talk about how to stay strong in the natural, but then we're going to go into the spirit part of you. Oh yes, there's the spirit part of you, mind, body, soul, what, and your spirit. And we're going to talk about how as a whole person, you can stay strong. You got to stay strong in this race we call life because you know, sometimes life happens. Have you ever had something? bad happened to you or something that you did not expect to happen and then all of a sudden you kind of had a, a meltdown? Well, today we're going to bounce back and we're going to talk about how, how could I have overcome that? How could I have been strong in that thing? How could I have dried up those tears two minutes later rather than two hours later? So the first principle we're going to look at is eat right. Oh, you say, now Ty, now, now that's an easy one. No, we're talking about eat right spiritually. You know, on your day-to-day -day activities, you say, well, I should eat some fruits, I should eat some vegetables. Stay away from all that pork, very little beef, chicken, fish, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right, we get it. That's eating right, to nourish your body. But how do you eat right spiritually? You eat the Word of God. You know, the Bible says what? Thy Word, God's Word, I've hid in my heart that I may not sin against God. So you eat the Word of God. You say, well, Ty, come on now, let's be real. How do you eat the Word of God? Do I pick up my Bible, chew it up, and spit it out? No. It's, I'm talking about when you take a Bible verse, just one verse. It could be, the Lord is my shepherd. And you sit there and you meditate on that. You meditate on the fact that He is your shepherd. He's the one that leads you. You see yourself as a small, fragile lamb who can be hurt or wounded at any time. And you think of your God as being a mighty God. And he's actually looking over you right now. And he is your shepherd. What's a shepherd? He leads you and he guides you, what? Beside the still waters. He make you lie down where? In green pastures. What's green pasture? A green pasture is a very comfortable place. A place where there's peace and tranquility. The next one we're going to talk about is exercise. You go, oh, now. Now you talk about doing a treadmill, running around the track and all that. Yeah, we can do that to stay strong. But also, walk by faith. I'll say that again. Exercise by walk by faith. Walking by faith. Exercising your faith. Not by what you see. You see, faith is not developed by what you see from day, like the tangible thing, like you can touch it. But have you ever had that inner unction that says, I don't know why I feel so strongly about this, but I just know this is going to happen. Oh, that's called your faith. And we're talking about walking by that. Not by what your purse say, or what your wallet may say, or what your friends may say, or what people may say. But walking by what's in your heart. You know that thing that's on the inside of you that tell you it will happen and it's going to happen and you will be successful? Walk in it. Not by what you see that you say, oh, now if I get $30,000, I can go and start this. Not, no, 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 no. Faith. Let your faith lead you into those places of provisions. I'll say that again. Your faith will lead you into places of provision. The next one is communication. You know, talk. Open up your mouth and talk. Communicate with people that can help you. And let's look at it on the other side, the spiritual side of you. Communicate with God. You know, so many times we, we, we look at prayer and we think prayer is this exercise that's got to be dramatic and it's got to have bells, whistles, and the walls have got to shake. What's wrong with just communicating? Just opening up your mouth and just talking with God. And the last one is your emotional well-being. Keep your joy. Keep your joy. You know how you wake up sometimes and you just feel like, I'm going to have a nice day. This is going to be a great day. Then you have to hold on to that. Hold on to that good day star. Hold on to that I'm not going to let some, something bother me. Hold on to it. It's precious. Keep your joy. 
make sure that when you start out and you jump out the bed and say it's going to be a great day and you're feeling all good then you maintain you maintain that 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 that, that hype so to speak you maintain that i'm going to keep my joy i'm going to hold on to it so you say ty what happens in the middle of the day with some you get bad news or you know people just say and do things that rack your nerves so to speak then that's when you what you draw back because you cannot control another person's actions but you can certainly control your reactions you can control the way you perceive it you can control the way you take it so you go back and you go back into your mind mentally and you say i'm going to keep my joy and you you put it back where it belongs where they left it in other words let's say it, and i'm going to wrap this up and i'm wrapping it up real quick here but let's say if somebody says something that's offensive to you and it really hurt your feelings well, that's not something that you own up to. That wasn't yours that you woke up with. So you just say, Lord, I'm just going to release that. I ask you to cover me right now in the precious blood of Jesus. I'm going to keep my joy. So wrapping it up, how do you stay strong? You stay strong in this race by eating right. You eat the word of God. And you also eat, eat food that's good for you. you. Then you stay strong by exercising. Most the physical exercise as well as exercising your the word of God, exercising the faith, exercise, walk in in faith. You stay strong by communication. You communicate with other people. You talk to people who can talk back to you. Uh huh. Have you ever been through the silent treatment? We don't have silent treatment when we're strong. When we're strong, we we are able to communicate what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling this way. So you communicate with God the same way you will any other person. You tell him all about it. And secondly, keep your joy. Again, a moment with Dr. Ty Dixon. See you next time.